in the graph below. For what values of theta does cosine of theta equal one, and for what values of theta does cosine of theta equal negative one? And they very nicely graphed it for us. The horizontal axis is the theta axis, and the vertical axis is the y axis. And so this is the graph of y is equal to cosine of theta. And it makes sense with our unit circle definition. And I'll just make sure that we're comfortable with that. Because with our unit circle definition, let me draw ourselves a unit circle. And I'm just going to draw it very roughly just so that we get the general idea of what's going on here. When theta is equal to 0, we're at this point right over here on the unit circle. Well, what's the x-coordinate at that point? Well, it's 1. And you see, when theta is equal to 0 at the, on, on this graph, cosine of theta is equal to 1. When theta is equal to pi over 2, we're at this point on the unit circle. And the x-coordinate is what? Well, the x-coordinate there is 0. And you see, once again, when we're at pi over 2, the x-coordinate is 0. So this is completely consistent with our unit circle definition. As we move in the rightward direction, we're moving counterclockwise around the unit circle. And as we move in the leftward direction, we're moving counter, oh, sorry. If we move in the rightward direction, we're moving counterclockwise. And as we're moving in the leftward direction along the axis in the negative angles, we're moving in the clockwise. We're moving in the clockwise direction around our unit circle. So let's answer their question. For what values of theta does cosine of theta equal 1? Well, we can just read the graph right over here. It equals 1. So cosine of theta equals 1. Cosine of theta equals 1 at, at theta is equal to, well, we see it right over here. Theta is equal to 0. Theta is equal to, well, we got to go all the way again to 2 pi. 2 pi. But then it just keeps going on and on, and it makes sense. Theta equaled, or sorry, cosine of theta, the x coordinate on this unit circle, equaled 1 right when we were at 0 angle. And we had to go all the way around the circle to get back to that point, 2 pi radians. But then it'll be again when we get to 4 pi radians. And then 6 pi radians. So 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi. And I guess you could see the pattern here. We're going to keep hitting cosine of theta equals 1 every 2 pi. So you could really kind of view this as every multiple of 2 pi. 2 pi n, where n is an integer. n is integer, is an integer. And that applies also for negative values. If you're, going, if you're going the other way around, if we're going the other way around, we don't get back until we get to negative 2 pi. Notice we were at 0, and then the next time we're at 1 again is at negative 2 pi, and then negative 4 pi, and then over and over and over again. But this applies. If n is an integer, n could be a negative number. And so we get to all of the negative values that, that at, of theta where cosine of theta is equal to 1. Now let's think about when cosine of theta is equal to negative 1. So cosine of theta is equal to negative 1 at theta is equal to, well, we can just look at this graph right over here. Well, when theta is equal to pi, when theta is equal to pi, and Let's see, well, we, it kind of goes off this graph, but this graph would keep going like this, would keep going like this, and you'd see it would also be at 3 pi. And you can visualize it over here. Theta, cosine of theta is equal to negative 1 where it, when we're at this point on the unit circle. So that happens when we get to pi radians, and then it won't happen again until we get to 2 pi, 3 pi radians. 3 pi radians. And it won't happen again until we go to 2 pi until we go to two, add another 2 pi, until we make one entire revolution. So then that's going to be 5, 5 pi radians. And you can keep going on and on and on. And that's also true in the negative direction. So if, if we take 2 pi away from this, so if we were here, and if we go all the way around back to negative pi, it should also be the case. And you actually see it right over here on the graph. So you could think about this as 2 pi, 2 pi, n plus pi, or you could view it as 2n plus 1 or 2n plus 1 times pi, where pi is, oh, sorry, where n is an integer at every, and let me write that a little bit neater, n is integer at every one of those points, cosine of, or for every one of these thetas, cosine of theta is going to keep hitting negative 1 over and over again. And you see it, it does, it goes from one bottom where you can kind of valley to the next valley. It takes 2 pi 
to get to the next valley, 2 pi to get to the next valley, and that was also the same thing for the peaks. It took 2 pi to go from the top of one hill to the top of the next, and then 2 pi again to the top of the hill after that.